I hear and see countless times people who tell me I'm not organized, my files are not organized, my computer is a mess, I can't find where my files are. If you are one of these many who are concerned about these things, you came to the right place. You have no idea how simple it is to grab your existing mess and convert it into an organized structure, as well as change your mindset to become an organized person. All you need are this video and nothing else. So guys, what means being organized? Being organized means that uh, you will distribute your files in a way that uh, follow one thing that I call the drill down concept. Imagine that you are a person who work with videos. So if you are one video maker, you have to deal with the video file. If you work with more than one camera, you have two inputs one for each camera. Then you are probably recording the audio from a different tool or a different hardware. So you have another file for the audio. And even if you are sharing screen, you have another video input, which is your screen sharing. So these are files. And then imagine that you have to record many shots. So the take one, take two, take three, many tries from the same thing. Now your files just became a lot. So for every shot, you have a combination of uh, maybe five files or six files and then have several shots. So how you organize that? Think that uh, the whole work of that day is one scene and that scene has a name. So let's call it the scene one. So you start thinking about the names and IDs because names and IDs are a great thing for your memory to recall later. If this is the first scene, call it, for instance, scene one. So make it 001 and put three digits because you may end up having more than a hundred scenes in this sample, of course. So in your case, you, you may be working with less files or less complexity, so you only want to add a scene, whatever, 01. But in this sample, you know, scenes in video making takes a lot of files and a lot of content producing, so they can become huge. So let's imagine that uh, you are on scene one. So make it 001. And what means make it 001? Let's look at the computer. If I'm thinking about the filmmaking, I'll think about scenes. And if I'm thinking about scenes, I think about shots. And if I think about shots, I think about my audio stream and my video stream. So if I open the audio stream, I know that this audio stream here belongs to the shot 4, that belongs to the scene 1, that belongs to this filmmaking, the one I'm producing. So if I'm not the person who did this structure, I'm someone else that came to use it, it will be very simple for me to look at this and find what I need. Let's see the computer. So when I think about uh, this sample here, filmmaking, I have here my scenes. And then if I want to know about the scene one, I will open here. And then here are all my shots. If I open the shot one, here are all my audio and video streams. This level here is not even needed because if I name the audio and video files like I'm naming the ones which I'm recording for this very class here, see, with also numbers and names, I will be able to easily find these files and edit them to make my work easier. Then you have uh, images that you want to add on top of the video. You have effects that you want to add on top of it. You have soundtrack that you're going to add in background of it. And all of this become filmmaking. Let's now imagine that uh, you are a corporate person, that you are working in a program or working in a project. Or let's imagine that uh, you are working on an um, integration role. So your first folder, your main folder, will be called the name of the program. So the program A. The very next folder should be called the name of all your projects. So if you handle, let's say, integration, there should be one folder called integration. Then let's say that you also handle migration. So you're going to put one folder there called migration. And finally, let's say that you have to create reports every day. So create one folder called reports. For your integration folder, you have several types of files. So you are going to have files for your planning. You're going to have files for your reports. You're going to have files probably Excel files that will create this matrix of uh, APIs, of uh, integration endpoints that you need to connect one software to another. Sorry for being too technical. And so on and so forth. 
Then once you open, let's say, the reports folder into your integration folder, let's say that you have three types of reports. So you're gonna have three folders. So one for each report. And every day or every time that you create one report, get your report once done, place in that folder. Next day, you have to create that report again, get it and place on that folder. Once you do this across the time, you will know in your mind that uh, if you need one historical report or if you need to know where the reports are, you know they are in that report folder, which is into the integration folder, which is into the, your program name folder. Follow the idea, the drill down mindset, start from the bigger picture, start from what is most common and drill down until a point where you can place your files and you can find them later. If you are working in SharePoint and now most of the big corporations are migrating to the cloud, are migrating to Office 365 business with uh, online syncing, and now several corporations around the globe, including the one I work for, are migrating to the cloud, are migrating to the online and Microsoft solutions, the same idea applies, but applies into SharePoint. So someone from your PMO team will create into that major program folder, several subfolders will be there. So one folder for actual and one folder for solution, one folder for development, one folder for testing, one folder for, the, for deployment. And if you are the one working into the project and you need to work with, with uh, as a sample I gave you, integration, so you will be placing your structure into the solution folder. In there, you're going to place your integration folder and into your integration folder, you organize it the way you want. But uh, don't organize it in a messy way. Create your folders inside that, your folders for your planning, your folders for your report, your folders for your information exchange with your peers. So this is the main idea behind the drill down mindset. Along with this new mindset that you just got about this drill down concept, make sure to add numbers to the folders because IDs, as I mentioned at the beginning, are the easiest thing for you to relate what you want to where is it because we will simply remember it. As you are using this every day, you will naturally remember on your mind what which number means. So guys, one very simple sample here. Let's say that you work with the PMO team and need to manage all the action items that uh, across the program and even across the parties, so you and customer, you need to make sure that the people are working on. So how you track this huge matrix? Very simple. You're gonna obviously put a name on every AI. So someone needs to do something. You know, this is the name of the AI, but also put a number on it. So call it the AI one. It's someone needs to deliver something. Then on the same meeting, let's say someone else asks something else to another person. So you say person X needs to deliver the document Y to the person Z about the subject X. So name it action item two. Because later on, when you are creating reports about the AIs and you are sending maybe mails or you are creating online dashboards about AIs, it will be a lot easier to talk about numbers. Hey guys, let's talk about AI 2. So, first of X. So, what about uh, AI 2? Did you deliver it? Oh no, man, I was busy. I will give you this today. You did. Okay, okay, thank you. So, talk about numbers. And the guys, that's natural. As soon as you put numbers there on every matrix, type of work, people will naturally stick to it because it's simply easier to work. Now, let's talk about the laziness. Laziness is by far the biggest reason that causes you to not be organized. Laziness happens in this very moment here, by the moment that you are creating your file and you want to save it. This is right the moment where laziness happens. In this very event, instead of you to invest a few seconds in placing the file you want to save or you want to download on the correct uh, folder, you simply hit save whatever it is. And many people don't even know where it is on your computer, either Windows or Mac. People just, and I can tell you guys, most of the people just hit save and then can't even find where the file is. It's amazing, right? You no, know, looks amazing, but happens every day. So take the few seconds to navigate through your computer and save that file on the correct folder that it should be. And uh, remember the drill down mindset. If you don't have the folder structure that you need to save that file 
on the correct place. Guys, invest these few seconds and maybe one single minute and go to your Windows Explorer and create the folder structure on the correct place that you will know later where is that file that you are creating or that file that you are downloading. This one minute or these few seconds that you are investing right now to save the file or download the file to the correct place will save you tons of time later in recovering the files that you use most for whatever you need, whenever you need. So guys, this is where laziness happens. It happens on the moment that you are creating or downloading files. So invest the time you need on this very precise moment, this very key moment to place your file on the correct place. Moving on, now talking about the desktop and that is quick. Desktop, at my opinion, and the way I use it, desktop is a temporary place. It's a place that you want to put files that you are not gonna need them, or files that are just passing through your computer. So you are downloading it now, you need to do one little change and then send it forward, or you are creating the file now and you are gonna send it forward and you are not gonna need that thing anymore, or you are just downloading to check something and then you are going to delete this file later. So consider your desktop one temporary repository that later on, if you think about cleaning your desktop, you can simply delete those files from there because by your definition, desktop is a temporary settlement. Look how is my desktop. See, I have nothing in my desktop. I only have shortcuts for the softwares I use most. Then the very folder that I created for this very training, and that's it. I have nothing else in my desktop because it looks clean. Whenever someone comes next to you and looks at your computer, people will right away tell you, man, look at your desktop, it has nothing there, look how clean is it. And again, it will create you that reputation that you are an organized person. And remember, organized person are perceived as efficient and reliable person. And that is what you want to look for, you want to drive to yourself. If you have right now one big mess on your computer and you are thinking, okay, dude, whatever you are saying is very nice, but uh, I already have my mess here right now existing. How I will convert that mess into an organized thing? Guys, start with baby steps and don't rush. So look at your mess, whatever it were, start thinking, okay, what are these things composed for? They are composed of uh, programs, they are composed of projects, they are composed of uh, filmmaking, they are composed of songs, they are composed of uh, whatever categories that you can split your content. Think about these categories. Think about the highest level. Then identify in your computer where you wanna save it, if it will be in your computer or if it will be in the cloud. If in your computer, I recommend you to save on the default document folder, it's a Windows default. So I recommend you to place there, then create this highest level folder in there and create one highest level folder for every major type of work that you are doing. Then into each one of those, start creating the, let's say, projects, you know, the highest level into the higher level so into each one of these folders, then go drilling down until a point that you are comfortable to start placing your files in. Then one by one, go to the folder where the mess is, get file by file, look to the file and say, okay, file, where I will place you? So you are part of the program A, the folder B, and the sub folder C. You belong to there, so Control X, go to the folder, Control V, next file, next file, next file, next file. You may take some time because the time will vary according to the size of your mess. But guys, don't give up. Invest this time now. Move one by one, file by file. Don't rush. You're gonna end up finding several other files that you don't even need. You're gonna simply delete them. They were just uh, using space of your computer and making your mess even more messy. So this will be a very nice catch that uh, guys easily 40 to 50% of the files that are now crumbing together into your mess. You could simply delete them because they are old stuff or they are different version of the same work that you are doing. And the guys, once you reach that very moment where your desktop is clean and all your mess are properly categorized, you are gonna feel a so nice feeling that you got your files, your things organized, and that is so good. Moving on guys, remember the laziness concept. Don't let the laziness to stick to you. And remember, every time you save or every time you download, 
that is the moment that laziness catch you. Don't let laziness catch you. Do you have any challenge with your corporate tools? Write it down here in the comments and I will make a video for you. If you know anyone else that you believe this content will be helpful, share it. Let's make the corporate world more efficient. And don't forget my like. Want to learn more about being organized? Here a playlist only with organizing tricks? Or maybe you are interested in becoming more efficient? So this is the playlist for you. Thanks for watching. See you on next video.